Hello and welcome to my Fallout 4 experience and today we're going to clear Nick's caseload. Yes, I'm going to look at, at the uh, two remaining cases uh, and then solve them. Right, without further ado, let's get this party started. Early Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. I've been meaning to put Earl's case to bed for a while now. Glad you're up for it. So, so proceeding directly to the dugout in. But the wall's still sure looking good lately. Guess Abbott found some more paint. No one knew Earl better than these folks. Ought to ask around, see what people know. So technically, this case was started by the Bob of Brothers. So it might be one of their A Meyer lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. I forgot you were there, Yakim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. I've got a few minutes to browse. Good. Good. Oh, I am now a detective player, which is part of the police force, so yeah. Instead of, I haven't joined the Minutemen, I haven't joined the Brotherhood of Steel, but I have joined the detective agency. So in some cases, I am the law, baby. I'll start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender? Why not nab the bartender himself? Lord knows Vadim samples his own wares enough that some weird behavior wouldn't make someone with charm. Someone who could get you what you want. A receipt from the Mega Surgery Center, huh? I wonder what the good doctors have to say about that. I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for Yeah, avoid the Bobrov brothers. They've got another job for you. It's to do with the radio. Uh, it's to do with... Um, I've forgotten his name now. The guy that operates the radio. Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive services? Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? 
You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here, go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Where'd all this blood come from? Goes right into the basement. By me, myself, and I. Oh, I think we're just about done. Our little mis Now I'd like to take him alive, but that's gonna be pretty slim. Keep the engine running if you give it the wrong fuels. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're... you're right. There's one thing I can do. I can fix... Put your hands up. Anything. What's going on here? Is... is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? <laughs> well, my companion killed the guy I was trying to, like, uh, whisper. Did you uh, know what Doc Crocker was doing down here? That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. What are you going to do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. So I have a new house, Doc Crocker's house, to have a look at and uh, check out the internals. I can do that later, now that I've got the key. So let's go back to the... Valentine Detective Agent. I guess we ought to so, give her the news. you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Not as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. Couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, the Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come on, Nick. Think of the good times. What, when he quit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the one I'm thinking of. So it's handy, I don't have to go back to see the Bob Brothers because they want to give me another quest to sort out the guy on the radio, sort him out a girlfriend, all that lock. Yeah, I don't want to do that, so, uh, good. Nicky, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. 
I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a congressman. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. So he's gone to Fanal Hall. Now that's a hardcore mutant place. And that's where we'll be going. Right, let's get some stock. Is he here? Everything I got will keep you safe. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Oh yeah, don't worry, I will be. Uh, right, what can we have? Really, what I need is some power cores. Fusion cores, that's what I need. And uh, yeah, that's good. Let that do nicely. I've got ammo. Right, let's just get the suit. And make our way over to Fanal Hall. You'll like this. It's exciting. So this is the group, the first sort of main foray into the very hardcore area of uh, yeah, there. Bunker Hill. What it lacks in personality, it makes up for in greed. Nope. Somebody went to a lot of effort to keep folks out of here. Weapons check. Yeah, I gave my shotgun away to a seller. Can you believe it? Uh, ten pounds bluff, I think it is. There's only two of them up there, so I thought give them some kit. Give them a decent bit of kit. I also left a power suit up there for them. So you need it. Right. Straight across the bridge and through the square, which I may have already previously cleared, uh, just simply by shooting and throwing stuff in there. Uh, an earlier, much earlier episode down this end, when I've got the power suit down the road there. Uh, right. Amazing, after I did Solgus, um, I felt I come, I've, I've got another incinerator which I've given to Nick and uh, hopefully he's still got some fuel for it. Right, there's a number of tasty camps around here. Yeah, like that place down there. I can't remember the name of the building, but it's uh, yeah, very tasty. The legendaries and all that stuff down there. Very little on this uh, mission. It is simply a search and destroy mission. Of course, having the companion with it is handy because they'll draw fire away from you, but the other Worse. The downside of it is that they will engage when you would rather prefer to like withdraw. Uh, it's, you know, just have to work with it. You know, what's that? Now, if you've been to the wicked, uh, wicked warehouse, where the, you get the trailer, uh, opens up loads and loads of trailers all over town. Uh, some of them find weapons and stuff in the other things you just empty. This one, oh, it's just a trailer. Rules in it. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there. Of 
course, Nick does get in the way. Well, they all get in the way. But very close proximity. Other games, you can set the uh, the follow distance, which is handy. It looks like a dead mutant. Getting close. Subway station, yes. So you go in, you're going too far, you just go straight into the subway station. I think there's ghouls in there, it's got to be ghouls in there. Right, I think that's, uh, yep, yeah, that looks like it could be the outside of Fennel Hall. Over in the distance, there you go, see a couple of mutants moving around. That's good, take one. So one of those mutants is enraged already. He's got a red dot on this. It's the dot I put on it. There's another one over there. For some reason I can't see the target here. Ah! Oh, yes, he's got a bomb in his head. Yes, he else. Suicide. Well, I think I'll leave a rubble in present for them. And, uh, so I'll find a place to shoot from. Started from here. Ooh, let's have a go. Let's have a look. Are we lucky? Something. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, you can go in that building, but uh, I don't want to go in there just yet. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. The old North Church is covered, so I can go in there now. When I want to see Deacon, although I haven't killed the Corsa yet, so uh, there's the statue. in range this uh, handgun's got. Oh yeah, we got a live one. I got a treat for you. <laughs> Get him, Nick. Right, I think it's really truly on the ball here now. Let's see if we can uh Someone's coming. I think we're alone. It's interesting, the companion's range for detecting hostiles is quite large. Oh, someone should make use of it. Good. Yeah, 
out of the way, Nick. <laughs> Just about to chuck a grenade, uh, a mine down. <laughs> Nick stands in there. Whoa. I think I'll uh, circle around and get it from the other side. I can't get that. Aha, another trailer. I mean, you can hide in the trailers. Open, get in, shut the door, hide, open the concrete door. Hello. We've got to change, we change the, uh, the look of the panel hall. There used to be scaffolding on the side of it. You could jump off the roof on you couldn't jump off the roof, that's right, the scaffolding was in the way. Uh-huh. So, next gen update, eh? Ooh, they've changed the building design. Well, I hope the inside's the same as I remember. That would be uh, <laughs> too funny. Right, music. Maestro. I'm going to make this quick. Stay out next week. Hey, long ride.
Guess Marty never quite made it. Don't worry, pal. We'll close this one out for you. treasure. Guess some people just can't let go. There's something you need? Well, look who's back. How'd things turn out with Marty? Not great. Was he drunk? Dead. Made it all the way through Faneuil Hall, too. Went out like a champ. No fooling. Our Marty made it through Faneuil Hall. Never knew he had it in him. Well, good for him. Who needs help? Can't believe Marty made it all the way to the Grasshopper. Seems I never gave him enough credit. Miss Perkins. Guess it's good I never visited Doc Crocker to get that touch-up I'd been thinking about. Perfect.
we're open for business again. Thanks so much for all your help.